You know what, guys? I've got, I've got, a, I've got something to tell you. Oh, we're, we're so attracted to that, you know, that painting and the, the caregiver that got the wild inheritance. And we, we like the idea of, of just dropping from the sky. But I want you to know that it's, 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 my, it's so unpredictable. How, how can you paint a painting and then figure out whether it will be millions and millions of dollars? Or how, how could you be a caregiver? Because I know a lot of caregivers and they won't get in any inheritance. Yes or no? Yes. Be honest with me if you bought a lot of ticket once in your life. Many times in your life. I don't even want to know. <laughs> and nothing happened. You didn't get 201 million. Because it's not predictable. Everybody say, not predictable. But can I, can I share with you something more predictable? Because that's what's important. Predictability. If you are able to predict a certain sequence, if you have these 10 tools, in your toolbox, you will become truly rich. Are you interested in that? Yes. Are you ready? Say, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Number one. <clears throat> First tool is very, very obvious. A goal. Everybody say goal. Goal. And the question is this. What, what's the goal of your life? It's a question between, is it going to be money or is it going to be mission? My hope is that it's mission. Everybody say this would be mission over money. Mission. That this is, it's, it's my mission. My mission is to bless. My mission is to help. My mission is to care. My mission is to serve. And I want the money that God will bless me with for my business, for my investments, for my jobs. I want to, I want to. I want to make it part of God's mission. Are you interested in that? Are you ready? You want that? So, what, one of the things I've learned is that there is such a thing as a reticular activating system in your brain. Like, if you, if you kind of like have that goal, I want to become a blessing to other people. I really want to become a rich blessing to others. You want that? Is it something that will keep you awake at night? Is it something that, that could be the first thought in your morning? Lord God, I, I'm, make me a channel of your blessings. You know, if you make it a mission, something in your brain opens up. And, you, and it, it's, it's almost like this. I love giving this example. I was walking in the mall one day with my, with my wife, my, my, my pregnant wife, and... And then I, I said to her, sweet, sweet, there's so many pregnant women. There's a pregnant woman, there's a pregnant woman, there's a pregnant woman. And then she started laughing and she said, Bo, all those pregnant women, there's, there's, all, there's always a lot of pregnant No, 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 there's a lot of pregnant women now. And then she started laughing and said, because I'm pregnant. And that's why you see all the... When I was not pregnant, it was not in your mind. Make sense? That's what you call... When you have a goal, your mind sees things that you did not see before. Right now, when you have a goal to become truly rich and to be a blessing to other people, your mind opens up and you begin to see opportunities that will help you to become truly rich. So one more time, mission over money. Number two, govern. You've got to make a decision. This is it. I am going to be a steward to this whole process of becoming truly rich. And I'm not going to blame anybody. Everybody say no more blaming. You are where you are because you put yourself there. It's not... It's not your fault, you know, it's, it's your, you did not, it's, what am I, what am I saying? It's, you know, the Filipinos, for 333 years, we were under the Spanish rule, 
and we had the Haciendero complex. Are you familiar with that? We had Hacienderos. And so the Filipinos, when we, we needed something, we go to the Hacendero. I was talking to, to someone who, who was recalling those times. He said, there was a time when, when we needed school supplies, we'd go to the Hacendero. It's the Hacendero who would give school supplies. And uh, when somebody was going to go to the hospital, we would go to the Hacendero to get money. I want you to know that for many Filipinos, the Hacendero is now the government. And we depend on the government to help us. We've got to stop thinking in that way. You've got to make a decision right now that you're going to be responsible for your financial life. Are you ready? Put your hands over your chest and say, I am totally responsible for my financial journey. Number three, grit. Everybody say grit. It's going to be a long journey, but it's predictable in the sense that if you keep on working and if you keep on make, making that decision in your life, I'm, I'm, it's all about action. It's all about taking action, and it's all about this that nothing great is ever achieved in this world without persistence. My, my, I always tell people that, you know, Malcolm Gladwell talked about the 10,000 hours in his book, and it's really about finding that one thing and growing it and making it happen. Um, which, which brings me to guts, number, number four. Um, it's connected to grit. It's just taking, Successful people take small risks. You might say that that's a that's a typo, bro, uh, brother, bro. That, that's a typo. It's it should be successful people take big risk, big risks. No, from from what I've known and from all the build, from all the successful people and mentors I have, successful people.